Oh, hi. Hey, you caught me making yet another infographic. It's like I do this all day. Anyhow, today I want to really look at making um, an infographic around a persuasive message. Advocacy. Changing mindset. Tagging people on their emotions, their feelings, providing them with information, making them do something different. And for this series, I've been talking a lot about cycling, benefits thereof, especially thinking about biking to work and school. So that's my ongoing theme. And you can see I've already logged into easily, easel.ly, and started working off of some data that I found. But I want to take a step back to actually where did the data come from and how can we work with it. So let's back up a little bit. Before I even started thinking about data, I started thinking about sources. I did my research. I googled bike to work statistics, bike health statistics, bike commuting statistics, health benefits of cycling, bike versus car, financial benefits of cycling. The point I'm trying to make here, people, is don't just google bike commuting take the first URL that's at the top of the list and move on. You have to be persistent and diligent in your search to get the good data that you need. As I started to find things, I didn't just hope I'd remember them for later. I started grabbing everything and dropping it into a Google Doc. So Google Doc it, uh, put it in a Word document, take a picture of it. I guess you could print it out, but really? Uh, you never know how a source may lead you to other beneficial sources, like this one, for example. So Bike to Work had a whole truckload of resources. I'm in the media section right now, but if I go back to their resources, they have resources for event organizers, individual riders, media. So sometimes you might find a mega list of sources that can then lead you to others. Don't discount it right away. Don't trash it because there's too much to read or it's too long to scroll. Spare me. Read through. There may be gold down at the end of that resource rainbow. Wow. Uh, another thing to consider is broaden your search for sources. Now, I'm working on a PSA about biking to school in the US. But that doesn't mean that the Copenhagen City of Cyclist Bicycle account for 2012 won't still be useful to me because check this out. As I scroll through and I get down here to 14 facts about the City of Cyclists, there was a uh, survey done in Copenhagen about why people bike. Well, why people bike is going to be a fairly universal um, set of statistics, right? They bike because it's faster, because it's more convenient, because it's healthy, because it's cheap. What's going to drive that? So I decided to adopt this as one of my sets of data. And I started thinking about, hmm, what do I want this to look like? And you can see that I was really, at this point, simply mimicking the look of this report's bar graph. And instead of using bars, I was using bikes. All right, that's something a little different. But still, now that I have an idea of my data, I'd like to think a little bit more towards appearance. Well, if I'm making an infographic about biking to school, why not see what other people have done as far as biking to school infographics? There's lots to look at. Here's somebody who even collects cycling infographics on Pinterest. Again, another mega site of ideas. Doesn't matter if it's in a language that you can read. It doesn't matter if it's related directly to bike to school. This is going to start to give me some ideas for how I could play with the visuals. And one thing you're going to see a lot of, no surprise, would be circles. Bikes have a lot of circles. Two wheels, chain rings, the freewheel, the motion of the pedals themselves. So I decided, okay, I want to adopt some of that. 
for sure, for sure. I want to take advantage of the circular element. So I thought, I'm going to go and find images of a bike wheel. So I'm at the great Google. Off I go to images. But I'd like this to be an image that will be um, see-through and is going to look good on my easily infographics. So what do I do? Well, I'm in images, but let's go to search tools. And for my type, I want to try line drawing. Okay, that's looking good. But I want it to be transparent. And look, if you go to color, I've got a choice for transparent. And now I can start to cruise through. I've refined my results. I'm not having to go through trial and error. Save myself a little time. Now I've already picked a, an image that I want. I'm going to go and upload that into Easily. And if you're wondering how do you do a lot of these things in Easily, this is not a how-to for Easily, but I'll put a link down in the comments, and comments section with some tips for easily for you to enjoy. There's my bike wheel. Drag and drop. You know, I could just put it there, but I think what I want to try is how's this going to work? You guys tell me if I kind of offset that and I start to think about instead of just my copy of a bar graph. I already started doing some typing. What if I start to rotate these and I bring them down and I grab these and rotate the top box rotates. And I'm just playing. Give yourself the time to play with some ideas around how you can make this a little more engaging for your audience. Keep grabbing the bike. Oh, come on. We'll just move it way over here. And then start taking these bikes. Let's see if I can grab a truckload of these at one time. I'm holding then shift key and click. Look at that. I can move a whole bunch at once. Put it over here for it's faster. And you can see I'm going to have to retool this some to get the visuals to work. But already we are into something that is more interesting than if I had just mimicked their column bar graph look. Utilize some of the natural shapes that fit with your subject if that works for you use some of the tools in easily and don't hesitate to look at infographics there is no harm in seeking good ideas from people who've already gone down the road i'm not copying i'm not cheating i'm seeking inspiration from other designs that are already out there and this is not done there's more for me to do i certainly need to complete my data set I also want to make sure that I give credit to my source. So make sure that you've placed that somewhere on your infographic. Take your time, work with the tools and easily, but before you even get there, before you even plan that infographic, it all starts with finding that data. And finding that data really begins with being diligent and thinking about those search term keywords. If you've got questions about using easily, I'll put a link in the comments section. Thanks for watching.